everybody and welcome back. This time we are doing a color comparison on John Renault's uh, Shaded Sun. That is 27 uh, T613S8. So this is definitely a warm blonde. Uh, only the tips are cool. And um, what it is, is it's there's the rooting and then it just has this faded look. This is that warmer blonde and it goes down to the 613. T613 is tipped. So it's tipped with the 613, which is a like lighter, I mean, like almost like bleach blonde. I think it is like a, a, a bleach blonde. So yeah, it's, uh, I, I like this blonde because it looks, um, natural as far as you know because it's hard when you have like a synthetic piece and it's uh it just it looks perfect all the time the color is absolutely perfect and we just know that's not reality so with you know a blonde like this it doesn't look like everything's perfectly highlighted all the time it looks like your hair has faded it's just it's what i call because you know most of us we're not, you know, celebrity status. We're not wealthy to where everyone hanging out with this perfect hair all the time. So I feel like this is more doable for real life because it just it looks like your hair is like faded and grown out. And that's why I like it. Um, with that in mind, not that why I like it, but that's just how I describe this color. It's how I think of this color. It's not highlighted everywhere, but it looks just like your hair is like faded and changed blonde over time. So it just looks really natural. And this is what it looks like in the synthetic version. So this is my Angie in human hair, and this is my Camilla um, in synthetic. She's my gym piece because I overplucked the top. So I always have like something wrapped around my head and I wear her to the gym and it works perfect, very comfortable. But as you can see, there's not, I mean, they're not very different. I honestly, I think this has a little more warmth to it. Like, I don't want to say brassy, but it's just more of a warm blonde. This is still a warm piece. I'll put it on for you, even though it looks terrible down, just so you can see. See, this is where ring lights, and I've said this before, if you paid attention to my videos, Ring lights, I feel like, can skew blondes, and especially with synthetic blondes. It looks so shiny in front of the ring light. So, you know, I think if you're not in lighting like that, it looks less shiny. But sometimes we can see these blondes. And if you look at any of the, you know, um, professional pictures, it's, you know, it sometimes the blonde just doesn't look accurate. I don't know. I don't like the professional pictures. The hair always looks wiggy and the real life pictures look way better so sorry it's moving all over the place because i don't have a wig grip on i cannot wear a wig without a wig grip on so yeah this is you can still see the tip 613 is still very much the same it's just that bleach blonde look the rooting Rooting in a synthetic is always going to be darker. Even if they're both, th these are both an S8, they're, the rooting is always going to be darker. But the nice thing about a human hair is you can always have the rooting touched up because it will, uh, because of the warmth of your head, it causes the rooting, the color to um, oxidize, I think is like the professional term for it. And so that causes the rooting to lighten. This is when worn outside a lot so hardly even looks like there is any rooting so maybe when i wear her for next year i'll get the rooting done but that's why you know it's always you're going to see that difference and you can always have the rooting touched up on a human hair synthetic you can't um well i mean okay you can do those copic markers and everything else like that but it's still not you know it's just not the same as what the rooting that came with so really you can't change the rooting on a synthetic way you can kind of give the illusion and sometimes it looks bad um, but overall, you can't change the root on this, but you can on this. Now, the one part that I think is a little different is I feel like this is more of a neutral blonde in the synthetic. 
and this is just more warm. I have warm undertones, so this warmth works for me. I think if you were, um, if you look, if you have more cool undertoned skin and cool blondes work for you, I feel like you could get away with this blonde in synthetic because this isn't cool. The tips are, the two tips T613 is like a bleach blonde. But this I feel like is more of a neutral blonde um, versus the human hair version. But like you can see how just that beautiful fading, like you are on the beach all the time and your hair is just changing color. That's what it reminds me of. But they are, they are pretty different. So I feel like, you know, I mean, blonde, blonde can change so much even on your own hair because it oxidizes and it just fades really quick. Uh, but so I'm just trying to make that look a little less wiggy. It's just, it's always up. So that's why I had to thin this and everything. But yeah, so this is, I feel like this looks more neutral and this one is just more warm. And you can tell they're just, they look like two different blondes. The tips are the same, the rooting obviously is different, I explained why, but I feel like it's this middle part. I mean, holding them like that, I feel like they don't look too different, but I feel like with this piece, um, it's just, I don't think the blondes look exactly the same. Maybe you do, and, and that's where, you know, obviously recording, I mean, that's why I try to do it in your outdoor lighting. I've incorporated a ring light because sometimes just trying to get the right lighting where I live now can be a challenge. And I um, and I have to do it like at the optimal time of day and it's, it, it's just more challenging than where I used to live. So I've incorporated a ring lighting. But... I feel like this is just a little more warmer than the synthetic version of it. So, I mean, could you interchange them? I don't wanna say absolutely, because let's just, I just feel like this one looks more warm. Oops. Ooh, ah, ooh, I'm stepping on it. I feel like this one just looks more warm than this one. You know, I mean, you can tell it's just, this is more, of a neutral blonde. This is who has just more warmth to it. So there you go. That's my opinion. Take it for what it's worth. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Okay. Have a good day, ladies.